Welcome back. Ow. Okay. Uh, so, Kagan will tell you before you go that he's going to begin the process of moving the army as fast as they can toward the temple. Here's the thing. It's going to be a few days before they get there. Mm. This is not close to where... Uh, well, I guess they could, with some high-level casters, probably get some gates put up to get everyone out there. Okay, question. Since you guys are doing this, we do have some fairly high high level magic users who can begin gating in how many can you take with gate I would have to check that I'm not too is it like fucking crazy yet. huge amount of yo's well it's it's ninth level spell I would assume that that's, yeah. Yeah, that that's a lot of damn people you can tote around with right, I got it so you conjure a portal linking an unoccupied space you can see within range to a precise still location still oh still fuck still me still. On a different plane of existence. So we go somewhere else and come back through to there. We, we have to <laughs> planar shift and then gate from there. And we can bamf home. Oh, I can help some. Um, I, I, can, I can do all of those things. Well, <laughs> to your my nightmare can take different. me and... Oh, yeah. Eisenschmidt. What do I ask for this? Uh, well, here's the, the thing, right? The free willing creatures. They um, can do... To the... Here's... So it's like, plane. someone can can cast gate to get to a whatever plane, and then like the next caster can move into that plane and cast gate again, and then tunnel. you have a tunnel essentially getting to where you need to go. The trouble is that is up to a minute. Now a lot of people can fit through that through that gate, yep. especially if you make it twenty feet in diameter. Um, Let's flood in. Yeah, so we could have people to confuse them, and then so I might not grab, need to just take four. Spend them, maybe the others and run. If we can get two casters to make two gates, I mean Albert can. He's staying behind, helping most of the time. And uh, Anna I'm can. Assuming. But well, here's the thing. Yeah, I don't know. We're not gating into the temple itself. We're yeah. gating to a nearby location that is still in the underdark. Because we have to prepare and then gather our forces. Yeah. Um, however, we can get a gate started, and you can then gate from that plane the into the chamber. Okay. If you wish to do that. It was a lot cooler with this idea when it was just off, our, off guard going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the most stealthy of individuals. I understand that. How long does it take you to cast Recall? Word of Recall, one action. So you could get there out by yourself with Sven. If I can get to his precise location, yes. Mm. Yeah. But all I've seen is the sky. Yeah. And... So, okay. is Elric pretty sure that... What does Elric think about that? Getting him how precise he would get. With the gate? Yeah. Well, um, give me an arcana check. Or a religion check, if it you wish. For, I rolled a 13 plus his modifier now. It'd be like an 18, maybe. What no. is it now? Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't have the character 13. sheet right here. Oh, okay. Uh, no, 12, I'm sorry. Yeah. 12 for Ulfgar. It was uh, plus 7. Ooh, 20. It was plus 7 before. Yep. So 20 right now. Oh, well, well, and level 9. <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> here's what you know. Yeah. The Temple of Chaos... It's fucked up. ...has some weird magical qualities to it. Damn it. Yep. Yeah. So, teleporting into the temple... ...is problematic. Is problematic and extremely dangerous because yeah. you don't know. Who, who, do you know who has any? What now? Teleporting the right outside the temple, like place. by the front door, oh, yeah. yeah. is perfectly <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah, but teleporting uh, immediately through. inside it is, is dangerous. Bad juju. Bad, bad, bad juju. Yeah. Cool. 
Oh. But it pissed us off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad that nobody actually figured out how, much, how they <laughs> were. Not one of five people. Yeah. We, it was just every time someone used it. Someone I knew it switched. We just didn't, yeah. We didn't know there was directions. Yep. Oops. By the way, you do... Um, another cleric will will come up and uh, I, it's, it's a dwarven cleric will come up and be like he's the guy that's going to cast the first gate and he's going to cast that gate to get into Urusha's plane which is the plane of stone uh, is it a wall? Is it's not portal? No. <laughs> just everything just wrong wouldn't that be some <laughs> shit? yeah no <laughs> Sorry, we made it. Sorry. <laughs> Can't go no. there. No, no. Um. Ow. Let's see. Hmm. What is his name going to be? Where's my phone? There's my phone. Gimli. I second that. I'm going to get Battlefield. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's why I'm getting you. I see that. It just gives you a little battle tag. Mm, I agree. I agree so hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me, me too. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it's fun shit. This kind of sounds like Battlefield music. <laughs> the right, lobby. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. We're gonna. I have an actually really nice name generator. Oh, nice. Uh, Did dwarf. Texas back yet? Nope, not yet. We're gonna say that it's a lady. Oh, my favorite! Hey, hello there. Her Don't name have is Scout. <laughs> Her what name girl? is Telna. Wait, she's a dwarven cleric. Yeah. Oh, Her okay. name is okay, Cast Me How right? <laughs> 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 How about that? How about, about that? that? Lady How about dwarven that? cleric is strong enough to cast gate. Telna Baldak. Oh. What? At your service. Let's we'll say that one more time. Sweetie. Telna Baldak. Telna. Baldick? Baldick. Yeah, I heard Baldick. Oh, wait a minute. No. Ulfgaard's beard. Tell her Baldick. Baldick. Baldur. Baldick. Yes. Baldick. B A L D E R K. Okay, is, right. I just need to tell them. Dwarven hair, kind of like Italian hair. Okay. Have have well, you have the same beard? No, no, I got burned off. Oh, oh, that's right. The dragon. This guy, the dragon. This guy has no, the same beard, beard, too. That's right. The same beard. Actually, you all have. This guy doesn't. Yeah, you do. He no. cut his off. He didn't like it. No, well, that's we, right. You did cut it off. You did cut it off. and nicked myself a couple times. It took some damage. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd never shaved before. Yeah. Because of Elf. Because Elf. <laughs> I like Telna already. She's adorable. <laughs> How about that? She is a cutie. I say that under my She breath, has uh, strawberry blonde Duh. hair. Oh. Yeah. Strawberry. With? A little bit white beard. That's uh, well. That's what I'm asking though. It's been like three or four days. It's been a few days. You have some like heavy, heavy scruff, <laughs> but it's not, you know, it's not dwarf beard yet. It's it's not Eisenschmidt. He's beard. he just kind of puts his shield up in front of his face. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Uh, There's no spell that can do that. <laughs> Greater restoration? <laughs> <laughs> she walks up to you. And she... Regeneration, maybe? She uh, touches your your shoulder. I understand. <laughs> we've... We've been given by Rusha a new type of spell. <laughs> because they've been fighting a lot of dragons and stuff. And, like, fire breath, like, destroys the beard... And that's a no-no as a dwarf. True. So she like touches you and mutters a spell, and your beard grows back full. Like just uh, this is bullshit. Oh, <laughs> even thank even you. The just middle. reaches out and starts just starts kissing her like. Oh, out of here! Out of here! Out here at all? Um, I killed fucking Santa Claus. Give me mine. a serendipity roll, sir. <laughs> We'll see if he gets slapped in the face. <laughs> 51. Oh. 51 <laughs> is just enough. <laughs> she starts kissing you back. Woo! 
Well, poor, poor. Here's the thing, <laughs> too. Like, this is like Skyrim kind of shit. Where like life's too damn short, <laughs> you know. So she's 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 into it anyway. So you're saying I still got a chance? We're right? <laughs> having a good time. No. <laughs> Wait, so I think it's just gonna I'll get laid in the post-apocalyptic world. This what did you cool say your anymore. name was? It's Telna. Telna, what was Balder. the last name? Balder. Balder. Do I recognize that name? Is it like an old family this name? Oh, uh, give me a history <laughs> check. Oh, this man. This is cousin. Uh, that's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> Please roll awful. <laughs> Nat 20. It's oh, still his oh, cousin. Wow. <laughs> She has you to be not related, at oh, least not in any sort of close enough way that it's problematic. Oh, He's wow. like, oh, good. So and goes back yeah. to making out with her. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the future. Wait, wait a second, let me out. think. <laughs> I, I imagine history. that like Joe Dirt, like at that part. <laughs> yeah, you're my sister. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a good movie. Yeah. You know, don't watch the second one. I like the second one. Really? I, I thought it was funny. <laughs> it's bad. It's not as good as the first one. Oh, no, no. By any stretch. But, <laughs> all right. Plans are, pl plans are being made. Uh, this is going to take some doing, like, because they're going to have to have, at least th theoretically, they're going to have to have a gate cast a pretty decent amount of times because they got a lot of people they have to get through. Um, as a matter of fact, um, okay, let's just kind of fast forward a little bit. The gate... Is cast by Telma. And everyone kind of rushes in. You guys go first because you're kind of leader. Like you're the badass leader. 18. You're yeah. the badass <laughs> leaders. Um, We're generals. <laughs> the plane of stone General has. Be there are two things that are immediately under The first is that like the all of the the buildings and like, like head columns, it's all immaculately carved. Uh, very, very dwarven style, uh, geometric. Um, the second thing is that you see a lot of spectral dwarves Just walking around, and like a, a, a very small number of non-dwarves mm -hmm. who, like who who have like pleased Urusha and served her in their living time frame. Yeah, and they are. Uh, <coughs> working the stone, or at least look like they're doing it. Yeah. Uh, there's not a lot of sound in this plane. Um, nice you do quiet. hear like very soft, tink 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 tink, like like deep way off the detail distance. work. <laughs> <laughs> you um, what you notice too is that walking like on the plane actually you know what give me perception checks everybody <laughs> wait would I be fine on this you uh, get advantage I got advantage and I rolled seven twice <laughs> <laughs> it's ten wow that was worse than the first roll so that's fourteen passive is uh, thirteen but and I got a ten Anna came as well. Vlad stayed behind with Anna's here. 16. That's perception. Where am I? Wait, 10. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't have much. I'll see shit. <laughs> I looked around and just had another drink. This is all the amateurs are seeing things. <sighs> <laughs> 32. <laughs> see, it's because I see like you, 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 see straight out of, you see straight out of the game and into Gerald's face. Yeah. <laughs> I see through the entire fabric of space and time. Oh, your, your mind is broken. Is really <laughs> I'm <laughs> not real. Uh, <laughs> no, no, that's, that's, that's for ruling yeah. meta, meta knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. Eleven. <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm good. All right. Behind the gate, you see this enormous. Friendly, moving. <laughs> it seems like a moving statue. Oh, that's lovely. It is a beautiful dwarven woman. Oh my! Oh, 
Oh, this, that, that description doesn't go together. Wolfgar. <laughs> Beautiful <Oi! laughs> dwarven woman. Wolfgar. Like, you all... It's weird. Because, you know, like you said, normally... It's not something that <laughs> you would... You, collectively, yeah. except for Wolfgar, would attribute to a dwarven person. Uh, just because of preference. Right. Obviously. Um, but to all of you, she's very beautiful. And Ulfgar turns. I'm gonna take control for just a moment. That's fine. Ulfgar turns. His eyes go st like almost like popping out of his face. Looney Tunes big. Like, like crazy. The mask. Like Looney Tunes <laughs> big. And he immediately goes prostrate. <laughs> That's exactly what I was gonna have him do anyway. <laughs> I'm a little. And he feels. You feel. Instant erection. The <laughs> and it pushes him up a little bit. He just to raise. He raises. Cock, cock push-ups. Push no. <laughs> you feel the the presence. In this case, the literal presence of Arusha, the Stone Mother. Oh, that is her. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! So oh, yeah, on the plane. Yep. And she's like in front of us. Yeah. I'll say, hey, Eliza's nice to meet you. <laughs> Her form, like, shrinks down. Yeah, giant statue. Yeah, that's why I shook um, <laughs> hand Suck your hand as, down. As it's shrinking down, you actually see, uh, like, about, uh, like, both around and behind your gate, several other gates appear, and people start kind of pouring out. Yeah. Um, from various places. Some of them you recognize from the Tainted Blood, mm -hmm. from the Order of the Tainted Blood. Some of them uh, you you recognize some ancient, like, reconstructed armors from different cities. Um, this is the army. This is the contingent. They are the all last. arriving here. Nice. Um, do, does... Uh, uh, other than your reaction, of course, Olfgar is flat on his face. Telna um, is is doing the same thing. All, like every dwarf that is in so the crowd really look out of place. is yeah. down. Yeah. Well, look around. Um, <laughs> There's these out. <laughs> no, this is if it looks like simple, I would have kneeled with everyone else. But she yeah. walks up with kind of a, a smirk and shakes your hand. <laughs> I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, great. Yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> 13. Uh, 12. 12. 12. <laughs> Your hand just shatters. <laughs> um, I was being friendly. It can't be that bad of my handshake. I was being courteous. Feeling the divine power <laughs> course through you, uh, you just pass out. Totally, like you guys just see him, like, hey, I'm Isaac Schmidt. <laughs> she walks up to shake your hand, and like, right when she Touches. grabs you, <clears throat> you just pass the fuck out. He just falls down. God, and I can't wait to wake up and tell well, you guys I fucked a dwarven guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my dreams are. She was in me. Well, it is a Friday, so it is about normal for him. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, did he give a shot of something? Did so he pass on the floor again? <laughs> yeah, it is Friday. Fate. Yes, uh, she knows us. She knows us. <laughs> Mother. Wolfgar. Wolfgar, rise. It's shakily to his feet. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. Wow. <laughs> Wowie. It's like, he just kind of brushes his beard out a little bit. It's like, it's it just going to bucket. It's already got kinks in it. Bloody hell. I have offered up my plane for this because... What you're doing is noble, trying to save the realm. <clears throat> we did get three levels, so yeah. You, uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, for me. You have my blessing. Oh, what do we get? <laughs> We, you are going to gain the benefits of the Hero's Feast. Woo! Uh, What's her ma <laughs> what is her die for that shit? Isn't it 2d10? That's for, uh, some spree. Yeah, that's that's what we might. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
We need a couple of these sprees too. We're going to say it's maximum because why the hell not? <laughs> you all gain 20 temporary hit points that Woo! actually increase your maximum until a long rest, I believe. Uh, let me verify that. A couple of other things as well. Am I just going to wake up with these parts? Yes. Okay. Like, you don't pass out for a super long time, maybe like 10, 15 seconds. Oh, can I do this then? Hey, that, that felt good. Can I do it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to roll better. <laughs> All right. You are immune to a few things, and these will be very handy. Uh, you are immune to... Uh, okay, sorry. These are for 24 hours. This lasts for 24 hours. Uh, you're immune to poison and fear. Oop. All wisdom saving throws are made with advantage. And your um, hit point maximum will increase by 20 points. Gaining that many hit points as well to kind of make up the difference. And there you the go. The first part was no fear and no poison. poison. Technically speaking, you're also cured of any diseases you may have. Oh, if you man. Have That's any. a good thing for you. That's <laughs> a great, great one. <laughs> your gonorrhea cleared right up. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing. Good. Now, let me tell you, the dwarven gonorrhea is the worst. <laughs> I'm gonna one. stare at you. I'm fairly certain Telda's gonna stare at you. <laughs> Somebody might. Kick and they're you. like, he had sex with dwarves. What is going on here? And I was like, we don't have gunnery. I don't know what. what <laughs> you guys don't. But some people out there don't have a, don't have a race specific oh, gunnery. Shit. A few days later, we're all like, wait. He hasn't noticed how Eisenschmidt doesn't scratch his nuts as much anymore. Um, <laughs> wouldn't my like canthropy be considered a disease? No. Okay. No. Ha <laughs> 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 you're normal. <laughs> no, sir. You are not. He's like, we have to go not, back. We have to go back right now. We have to go back <laughs> right you're now. Not, you're not free of the lycanthropy. Good. That Good. is. Because that's not technically a disease. It's more of a ritual thing. Uh, it depends on how. On it how depends you rule on it. how the ruling is. I don't consider it a disease. Um, it's a. Uh, Blessing curse. the curse. <laughs> More than that. Um, I failed to see the downside of the well, I haven't seen one bad thing about it. <laughs> even when tried to kill me. I had to nerf week. it, because otherwise you'd be immune to all non-magical weapons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, man. No. <laughs> I'm nixing that part. Right. Oh, did. thank you for reminding me. I am currently resistant to all non-magical weapons. I also have a ring of the genie, but I don't get to make the wish spells from him. Why? So, I it is now. It's now <laughs> your your go. Can I wear it? I lost all my. Uh, you can gate hands. in front. Uh, you can just follow the, 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 the army. Uh, uh, in so cool through their sort of final <laughs> gate that goes <laughs> into <laughs> the underdark <laughs> area <laughs> near uh -huh. sell out the money. temple. <laughs> you can gate outside <laughs> of the temple immediately as well. So that's entirely up to you. I'm gonna ask. Uh, that well, necromancer come with us. Kuldorax is with you. Yeah. Yes, of course. He's a soldier. Well, I mean, I can get I can get us in there, but I can't get us back out if, if, if things go better shaped. I mean, with the with mm -hmm. the word recall, but if we can get in and out within twenty minutes, we can just use the gate to go back out. The gate lasts for one minute. Yeah. Or nine. Or yeah. not, no. We can try twenty minutes. Uh, that sounds all right. I just think think concentration up to a minute. And you said you said that arcane casters can't cast into the gate because that was an arcana check that got that. Can't, can't get into this room. Well, casting. No, the, ar the arcane guys were like, casting don't go through these walls. Inside of the Temple of Chaos. Like, chaos as far as happen. teleporting like getting into, into it. Teleportation specifically yeah. uh, has some like interesting going. side effects, which you'll see uh, once we do that. Uh, you were told that, so you can either choose to say, fuck it and let's go in. Well, no, no, I mean, I'm just saying, because that's what they got from the arcane sense, but my religion check didn't go anywhere. I'm going to look at Arusha and ask her, um, do you know if we go straight, you, you know what we're doing, right? You know where we're going? Yes. Um, I, I assumed you did. You know, all and, and God, and, oh, God, can I get you all to get off? Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> you already have it. <laughs> I don't. Can I get one for them? my symbols? Oh, it's quite lovely. 
I think so. Um, anyway, you know where we're going. And um, if if I, with your divine blessing and success, or where I get my magic, if I cascade into that room, will the teleportation go better shape, just ah. like if an arcane caster did it? Because it's a power yes. that God put me through the spells. Um, Kalak, the old god of chaos, had a, an interesting group of folks. And it would have the same effect as if an arcane caster did that. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. So, plan B. Yes. No, not, not you. You. <laughs> <laughs> DM me. Got it. Okay. Um, plan B, not die. Look, look, look over at Telma. Could you... Actually, no. Look back at the witch. Yeah. Can you um, scry one more time for me? You can't get straight into the room, so looking at the armies outside the gates. Yes. I so, can. <coughs> we're out of time. We'll do that. Later!